DA, what's up, man? How are you? What's going on? How you doing? Hey, I am doing fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Welcome, Absolutely. everybody, to another episode of Inside Source Live. Uh, I'm Drew Butler. I'm the Executive Vice President around the College Division at Icon Source, and we are thrilled to be joined by our guest this week. It's D.A. Allen. He's an outfielder for Georgia's baseball team. He's a redshirt freshman from Milton, which is right around the corner from where I'm at right now. He went to Woodward Academy. First things first, D.A., go dogs, right? I mean, what's going on, man? The dogs are on fire right now. I know you guys, I want to get into this a little bit first. Baseball is so much different from most other sports in college. Because it's like all year long. You just got done with summer ball. You guys are doing exhibition games right now. Then you get a little Christmas break. Then the season starts. And if you do well, you play all the way until June. Talk to me about that. I mean, it is a year-long grind for baseball. And I guess if you go pro, things don't change, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it's a it's a grind. Uh, you know, just come out summer ball, play, you know, you know, 40, 50 games in the summer. Uh, turn back and back around, get back to school. And then you're on the baseball field, do like you said, doing ex exhibition games, you know, um, probably like, what, five or six days a week. You know, you're on the field, you're practicing, inter-squatting, you know, stuff like that. So, like you said, it's definitely a grind. And uh, I guess just embracing it is, uh, I guess, kind of helping, you know, all of us kind of get through it. So, uh, it's been a good time, though. You know, it's kind of fun, you know, to be out there with the guys. So, it's always fun. Yeah, absolutely. What's that competition like in summer ball? You were out in California. You played for the Orange County Riptide. Uh, you guys just finished that. Up. Now you're back in school doing exhibition games with the dogs. Uh, what's yeah. the competition like? Are you playing against a lot of the guys who are in the Southeast, or is it more guys out West? Talk to me about yeah. that. Yeah, I would say this summer, uh, being in California, I was in the Orange County. So uh, it was it was a lot of West Coast guys. I would say a um, majority of the guys were West Coast schools, a lot of SE, or a lot of Pac-12 schools. Uh, so, you know, that was a cool experience, you know, getting to play them. You know, they compete just like, they, you know, people compete in the SEC. Um, I like, you know, brag on the SEC, but they play a good ball out there in, um, on the West on the West Coast as well. So uh, competition was good. And I got back here and obviously Georgia's the SEC and, you know, every day I go in a squad or, you know, play my team. I'm playing the best guys, you know, yeah. in the country. So um, I've enjoyed it. And the competition's always, you know, been, you know, high, high competition. So it's awesome, you know, to compete, you know, against the best in the country every day. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, very high caliber baseball in the SEC, obviously. I think this year the finals in the World Series were Vanderbilt and South Carolina. Is that right? Um, In the College World Series, Vanderbilt and Mississippi State. Uh, Mississippi, Mississippi State. State. Yeah, absolutely. They won yeah, so. it, right? First step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. For Mississippi State, Jordan Henderson uh, on our team at Icon Source says Hail State. They obviously take that very seriously over there in Starkville. But Georgia will be right there this oh, year. Absolutely. There's no doubt about absolutely. it. Absolutely. How about this, though? D.A., obviously, you're playing baseball for the dogs. You had three full scholarship offers to play football in college yeah. from Navy, Western Carolina, and Liberty. You're a talented sure. athlete. There's no doubt about that. Did you ever think about maybe trying to walk on to the football team at Georgia, or were there ever discussions about you being a two-sport athlete, or is it simply too much of a time commitment? Um, I mean, I, I enjoy football a lot. My dad played football in college, and uh, – I guess um, I didn't really talk to Georgia too much about, um, you know, walking on anything like that. I think I've uh, – my football coach, actually, at Woodward Academy, our recruiting coordinator, uh, played DB here at Georgia with uh, Kirby and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. he was always trying to pull me in the football direction. Uh, but, you know, I was I was pretty set on baseball, you know, just being my main thing. So, uh, I guess I kind of dabbled with it a little bit, but really not too much. I knew baseball was going to be my route. So, I didn't really, you know – to spend too much time on it but you know i i love football so you know it's always been a thought but never really you know dived into it too much absolutely absolutely you probably yeah. made the right decision those baseball contracts uh they're no joke we'll be watching oh yeah no when no you joke. make it onto the mlb for sure and we'll be cheering you for you yes, uh, as you're on the field this summer spring fall you guys play all year long oh Enjoy. absolutely are you going yeah. to the game this weekend kentucky's coming in town taking on georgia college game day will be there sec network will be there Icon Source will be there as well. Our bus will Let's be go. in the corner of yes, Lincoln and Millage right in the action. Are you heading to the game? What are game weekends like for you? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be there at the game. Uh, game weekends, you know, baseball, like you said, fall ball, is, uh, takes no break. So we'll definitely be on the field probably until about 1 o'clock. And then um, after that, we'll probably head um, to like a little tailgate. Yeah. Some family, friends, and uh, some of the teammates and uh, cheer on the dogs. So, yeah, I'm excited for this weekend for sure. So they put you to work on Saturday. You'll be working out till 1 p.m. The kickoff's at 3.30. You got to get to the tailgate pretty quick, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. We shot in the locker room, uh, get ready to go, and just, you know, head straight to the tailgate and uh, start having fun with the guys. So, yeah, we work probably, I guess, probably around 1, 1.30. I guess we'll get off the field. So, uh, get off the field and head straight to the game, honestly. So, That's it'll awesome. be a good time. 
it'll be a great time. Weather's supposed to be great. Like I said, I'll oh, absolutely. be there. Uh, come holler at us. You can't miss our bus. We have a 45-foot RV that'll be parked right at the corner of Lumpkin and Miller. So if you're walking by, come say hello. We'll pass out some free swag. We'd love to see you and tell absolutely. you about what we have going on. Well, obviously, Icon Source. We're talking to student athletes every single day. We're talking to thousands of brands every single day. And it's all about NIL. It's this new age of student athletes being able to monetize their name, image, and likeness. And make no mistake about it, that's what we do at Icon Source. We're here to help you guys. And a lot of people on this call right now, on this, on this IG Live, are from brands. They're from our company. They're the ones who are reaching out to these companies that are putting up public opportunities that student athletes can opt into. And also private opportunities when brands want to work one-on-one -on -one with student athletes like yourself da i saw you got a pretty sweet deal from pit viper look those yes, were sir. really in style when i was in school a couple of years ago but yeah. they're pretty trendy now tell me how did that come about that's obviously a pretty good deal for you more importantly baseball players in general i think there will be plenty of brands they're going to want to activate student athletes like yourself when the season kicks up next spring yeah absolutely uh honestly as of right now i've honestly just been uh kind of dming different uh you know brands and stuff like that just trying to get my name out there and trying to see where their head is at um you know just trying to i guess up my brand a little bit so i'll just you know dm them on you know instagram twitter uh however i can you know get in contact with them and just ask them like hey like you know do you guys want to do anything with nil like can we get going yeah. um uh, just that kind of way just you know trying to start off like little conversations and hopefully let's go to bigger conversations and i can get you know you know nil deals with you know pit viper or you know other organizations that will be willing to support me so uh, it's been pretty cool, honestly. I've been enjoying no it. No question. Yeah, that's the best part. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And when you get on Icon Source, those brands can reach out directly to you. You can opt in to some of the public opportunities. I know the Marcy Bros are on absolute fire right now. We yes, have sir. tons up there where student athletes like yourself, DA, can say, awesome. "Hey, I'm interested. Let's get this going." I know tons of brands. We have over four thousand brands that we send this interview to. So you will Huge. be you will be sent out to a ton of brands who are going to say, "Hey, this DA kid, he's pretty sharp. Let's reach out to him." No question Absolutely. about it. If there were a brand, you know, yeah. let us know. Say it out loud. Who would you want to work with? Who does DA Allen want to put his name up with heading into the baseball season after the holidays? Because we'll help you out, man. There's no doubt about it. That's what we do at Icon Source. Yeah, I would say, uh, I would say honestly, um, I have a lot of friends that have done uh, PSD underwear. Uh, I know that sounds kind of weird. So that's all good. Uh, but PSD, I've seen them, you know, kind of grow their brand uh, from, you know, the ground up. So. I would say ever since I was in early in high school, I kind of see them grow their brand. So I guess PSD would be one of those brands that I would be like, you know, very willing to be uh, in a deal with them for NIO. So I would say that, honestly. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. You know, baseball is so interesting to me. Um, I know the guys over at Press Sports. I don't know if you have a Press Sports profile. Absolutely. Really cool app. Uh, we're doing some really cool stuff with them right now over at Icon sure. Source, founded by some baseball players. It's like a TikTok for recruiting. Really cool. I talked to the guys over at Prep Baseball Report too. Just the analytics that go into scouting you guys. And there's so many players who are so good at baseball. And it's all about, hey, jumping into it and helping out these guys get to the next level. I see Poncho's Dip just joined in as well. Poncho's, hey, if you love cheese dip, holler at DA on Icon Source. Oh, absolutely. I love some cheese dip. I love, I love cheese, cheese dip. dip too. Poncho's, yes, we got to get you on Icon Source. We'll get yes, you in sir. touch with DA immediately. Get him some cheese dip in that purple lighted room you got in there. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like yeah. I got it. a little, I got some LED lights, so you know I keep I keep try to keep the vibe up. I love it. I love it. And yes, Chase sir. Garrett, our founder and CEO, says we got to get you an Ethica deal. Do you have any Ethica swag? Ooh, I do not have any Ethica swag. I would love some Ethica swag though, for All sure. Right, let's get Absolutely. An NIL deal. DA yes, sir. Allen, hooking it up at Georgia, stud baseball it. player from Milton. Um, score prediction for this weekend. Before we let you go, number eleven Kentucky. We know they're a basketball school. Of course, I'm going to rib on them a little bit. I'm a Georgia fan. Huge yeah. game this weekend, though. That dog's defense is pretty legit. Game day's in town. SEC Network's in town. What's going to happen, DA? Give me a prediction. Um, I, I You know, always going to take the dogs. Always going to take the dogs. Um, I see them winning big. I see them uh, – uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on the uh, – I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the dogs are going to score 40 points. Oh, I like that. Um, and I'm going to say Kentucky's going to have 14. Okay, 40 yes, to 14. Sir. Hey, I said like 38 to 10. So okay. we're right on the same wavelength right there. And DA, you guys have an exhibition in a couple weeks down in Jacksonville. Georgia Florida weekend is obviously always a great one if you're a Georgia fan, if you're a Florida fan. So many cool activities down there in the area. Georgia baseball 
taking on Florida baseball in Jacksonville, October 29th. So get your tickets, go support our dogs, go support the Gators if you are a Florida fan. And when you're down there for the cocktail party, you can go get some baseball action in as well. D.A. Allen, thank you so much for joining us, my man. We really appreciate you. Any parting words on the way out? We got the brands you want to work with. We know we're going to get you, you're already on, set up on Icon Source. Caitlin Scott, our badass intern at Georgia, boots on the ground right now. Thank you so much for setting this up. Absolutely. Anything on the way out, man? Uh, thank you so much for having me. If you haven't downloaded the Icon Source app, make sure you go get it. It's huge. Uh, and uh, I'm just ready to get rolling. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, DA, appreciate you so much. Go, dogs. For everybody listening, iconsource.com. Download the Icon Source app. If you're a student athlete, totally free. Same for brands, public opportunities, private opportunities. We have so much going on and a lot of huge announcements coming out in the next couple of weeks. For DA, I'm Drew Butler. Go, dogs. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great week, everybody. That was good.